how I ship. Family, it's your boy SCN TV back at y'all with another Chirac Street Legend Squad edition. And this episode is going to be about none other than TYMB, aka Ty, you're my brother, aka Obama World. How I shit pull up and bang. TYMB is a set of BDs, GDs, and stones that originate off of 65th in Maryland in Joe City. Joe City is an area compiled of about five different cliques that was all once aligned in honor of a guy that went by the name of Dro or Sajo. Before Dro died, the area was most commonly known as Murder Town and Ghost Town. And Ghost Town? Yeah. Well, I'm talking about there's always some shit going on around here, man. You had Young Money or YMB, which would later become TYMB. You had Salt Block. You had Snow Block. And you had the Creek. They were also cordial with cliques like Trap City. Around this time, most of Joe City was die five crazy because it's believed that the stones out of Cranktown are the ones that killed Dro. Uh, what you know, man? Hey, 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 What's up right now, man? Rock Creek, man. ENT, man. I got my man, T, man. It's one of the gas, man. Put it much work, man. We get, get it, man. them niggas, home. man. We getting it for fuck, man. Right now. Let's get it, man. Fuck everybody, man. If you ain't see stirring crazy, man. I'm around with the gas, man. Especially my brother. He right there. Hot low, man. It's big bro, man. Any motherfucker fucking deal, they gonna die, man. Bitch up, you bitch ass nigga. That bad. Nigga. I don't care where you from. Drove city, nigga. Let's go touch Make niggas. time. Bitch. Creeping suicide to crazy, nigga. Making uh, suicide. Man, what they talking about is Drove City, Make Town, City, Sissy Fucking Suicide, CMB Ave. All the fuck they talking about. Ain't no difference. It's all together. It's not five. Fuck the hook, niggas. Y'all fuck the hook. That's that. Fuck everybody. Be in the Drove City all day. Every day. That's the kind of niggas. It's not five. Hook killer. Fuck all of it. And if you don't help me, chill. Drove City was once an alliance. But over time, relationships will begin to deteriorate because people will lose their lives and petty beefs will start a lot of wars. This will cause a lot of people to go their separate ways. Also, Joe City is like a pillar within itself when it comes to the drill scene. A lot of people don't know this, but Joe City is actually the ones responsible for giving the drill scene its name. Pac-Man is looked at at one of Joe City's finest. He's also a member that most members respected and most members loved. You don't find too many people from Joe City dissing Pac-Man. But you do find everyone, whether they're into it with each other or not, showing love and respect for him. King Louis, who had a big influence on the drill scene, is also from Joe City by way of the west side of Chicago. YMB, or the Young Money Boys, would originate on 65th in Maryland. They would get their name because they always listened to Lil Wayne. And at the time, they were very influenced by him. The Young Money Boys, or the Wise, quickly would become a force to be reckoned with. YMB was beginning to become a household name in the city of Chicago, and partially because some of the blood ties that they had were some of the most treacherous sets in the city of Chicago. T.Y., which was short for Tyshawn, was easily one of the most, or if not the most, loved member that was in YMB at the time. T.Y. had a whole lot of family and he was also very charismatic. So it's a lot of people still to this day that don't diss T.Y. He's also the one 
that the guys off of 65th in Maryland decided to name themselves after. Yeah, it's definitely one of them. T.Y. was off 64th in Maryland, and he had a whole lot of brothers. Squad, Kells, Lawjaw, Face, BG, Money Man, and Kirkball, who just recently passed away. The twins, Courtney and Cortez, are actually brothers of one of his brothers. Also, he was the cousin of Melly and Wu. On May 21st, 2009, T.Y. would lose his life due to gun violence in the city of Chicago, but it wouldn't go unpunished, as this would start one of the most broadcasted, deadliest wars that the south side of Chicago has ever seen. T.Y. was YMB's first dead homie. They took this very hard, but losing T.Y. really showed them how real it was. Two people have been charged in the May 2019 slaying of a 17-year-old boy on the south side of Chicago. Quinn Glover, 17, of the 1400 block of West 73rd Street, and Central and near 22 of the 6200 block of South Talman Avenue. Both were charged Tuesday in the May 21st shooting of Edric Walker. Walker suffered multiple gunshot wounds in the attack in the 6500 block of South Evans Avenue in the West Woodlawn neighborhood a little before 10 p.m. that night. He was declared dead at Northwestern Memorial Hospital at 10.20 p.m. The slayings appeared to have been gang-related, police said, but did not give any details. Just after the slaying, police said they were searching for at least two men or boys who attacked Walker, at least one of whom shot him. Glover and Lanier had been scheduled to appear in bond court today, but information from court was not immediately available. Lanier already has been serving a three-year sentence in state prison on an unlawful possession of a weapon by a felon case. Brown who was being held without bail at Cook County Jail in connection with Walker Slane, was on probation in the case involving selling or possessing stolen goods at the time of the shooting. An hour after T.Y. would die at 11.20 p.m. in a separate shooting, not far from where T.Y. was killed, three men were wounded in a drive-by outside a residence. The victims who were shot in the South St. Lawrence Avenue were all expected to survive. Police said two of them, a 28-year-old man shot in his stomach and the 22-year-old man shot in his lower back were taken to Northwestern. A 34-year-old man suffered a graze to his left arm and was taken to St. Bernard Hospital. The gunman fired eight shots from the backseat of a white four-door Oldsmobile, which later sped from the scene, police said. And of course, no one was ever in custody for the shooting. But three people would be locked up for T.Y.'s case, and two would definitely be charged. Roderick Brown, or B.G., would be given the most time. He will be given 26 years for the murder of T.Y. Chicken or Quinn Glover, he will be given a 20 year sentence. Since he was only 17, when this happened, he ended up getting out about two years ago. And the charges were dropped for Taki because he was charged with three murders in Indiana. And they knew that either way it went, he was done. After the death of T.Y., YMB will put a T in front of its name and start going by TYMB, or Ty, you're my brother, or the Tyshawn Money Boys. This will be the beginning of a new era in the streets, and TYMB wasn't about to play by the rules. Get started, bitch, I got no Rest in peace, TY, that was with Big Bro, so I'm a That next year, in September of 2010, TYMB will lose another close member a guy that went by the name of Lil' Chris. Chris, who was originally TYMB, was also affiliated with Trap City, AKA Zone 7. He was allegedly killed by STL, who are ops to TYMB and Zone 7. TYMB will begin going by the name of Chris Way in his honor, and Trap City will begin going by the name Chris World. Fuck Chris World. Fuck Chris, World. Chris Way. Go. On January 12th, 2011, Shondell Tuka Gregory was killed on the corner of 63rd and St. Lawrence at the bus stop, thereby making Tukaville. This was allegedly payback for T.Y. And this will heighten the war even more. Everybody will begin to pick sides. A couple of days after the death of Tuka, T.Y. and B would drop their first song entitled Don't Get Caught Lacking. All you fake ass headers and drillers, y'all need to knock it off. And a couple of months after that, they will release their first video entitled Drilling Time. 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 T.Y. and B. Obama 
would come up with the bright idea to go ahead and start doing music like everybody else was doing. I guess he figured if everybody else can do it and be successful with it, why can't we? Obama was a well-loved member from TYMB and he was also a leader in the community. He would be killed in 2012, allegedly by a guy named Kenny Mack from Zone 7. Kenny Mack will soon meet the same fate. 